a yogi, a magi, a light worker, a light warrior, or simply a person who's trying to improve their life, or a person who aspires to ascension, to increase their levels of consciousness, a person, an aspirant, an initiate upon the path, seeks to demonstrate soul of that aspect of heaven that is expressed through their personality by fully externalizing the powers of the soul of heaven, a fifth, fifth dimensional consciousness, and thus and thereby becoming an embodiment of the principles that they wish to express and teach. In fact, a yogi, a magi, a light worker, a life coach may be a teacher, but most often their teaching is a byproduct of their living rather than the purpose of it. And there are three levels of learning, of teaching, of being involved in gathering this information, of expressing this information, of integrating this information into your own life. Three avenues, the external avenue, the third dimensional pathway is oftentimes through organized religion and such, or another type of organization, but a type of external example to yourself and someone who provides a model of living of intelligent living and expressed their light of their living is expressed through their personality whether it be through a religious organization or any other type of organization a life coach if you will a YouTube channel and there's another higher level of learning, which is a fifth dimensional type of learning that involves what is known as the Bodhisattva, a liberated being who chooses to limit themselves for the sake of lesser unliberated lives. And this is a type of vertical relationship in consciousness of one consciousness, liberated consciousness expressing through fifth dimensional, through higher metaphysical, super sensible methods, lessons in consciousness. Like I said, this may not have an outer personality form in the 3D in the physical realm. However, it is a personal relationship and it is a type of relationship of help where the higher consciousness helps the lesser consciousness to expand and the primary focus and motivation of the sacrificing consciousness. It is <clears throat> similar to the Christ principle and summed up by the word love and corresponds to the soul. In that manner, Sadaguru for, for myself is a bodhisattva who fulfilled the role of the guru, a liberator from darkness, whose teachings, whose presence, whose energy were largely responsible for helping me along my path. So that is where I benefited from a higher type of fifth dimensional learning as I did not have a personal 3D relationship with Sadhguru except through energetic. And then there is a final learning which involves when you have gone through your initiations, when you have gone through the occult point of no return, when it has been demonstrated to you that the universal laws are a reality, that your soul is a reality, that your higher aspect, your higher self is a reality, when you have gone through the guardian of the threshold, when you have made your oath to God, to source about how your life will be, then life itself takes on a magical learning environment. This leads us out of the realm of consciousness into life itself, where consciousness is life itself. Consciousness awareness is imbued throughout everything in life and all aspects of life at that point are your teacher. Where you can learn your lessons or provide lessons. 
It doesn't always have to be a subservient role. Perhaps your path is at the point of initiation where it is now time for you to put your imprint of consciousness upon your life. And that is how you lead by example, how your life becomes an example, how the fruits of your life are an example. And this is a type of byproduct of the interaction of living your life in a daily way, in a, in a purposeful, light-filled way. The teacher is focusing all of their attention upon a principle, and the only way for others to relate to the teacher is for them to begin to relate to that principle too. I have put forth the principle of Ombanda. Om, the sound of all creation, the very first sound of, of primordial creation. Om, bond, the bond of all creation. And Amen, Ombanda. Amen, that seals this divine word. It's a principle that I have expressed from my God particle. And this is the primary vehicle of how I choose to impact the world around me, my life. This is an identification. This is a sharing of a life principle with others. This type of teaching is avataric. It is summed up by the word purpose and corresponds to the highest monad. To the highest source expression. And that is what Umbanda is. Is a vehicle of principle. And as we go into the these last parts of the end of days. As this, this age winds down. That is already partly wind down. But we're seeing the, the final drama on the final world stage. That is meant to fully initiate the rest of humanity and they go on their way they're going to go to another third dimensional planet but this planet is ascending higher ascension and Ombanda is a is an organization of conscientious objectors we will not partake in any sort of third dimensional warfare because we understand that all life is precious all life is sacred Ombanda is the sound of divine the divine word as it unites all of creation and God is alive in the hearts of every person around us, regardless of their color, their creed, their religion, their external religion. Ombanda is an organization of conscientious objectors and will not participate in the killing of other divine vessels of other divine genetic vehicles. We only engage in spiritual warfare, warfare against the principalities and the archons, of darkness who seek to keep mankind separated which is the true power of Satan is fragmentation the light is knowledge darkness is ignorance and Umbanda is of the light and is the principle of light Namaste Namaskaram